I'm going to show you how to calculate or find the zeros, x-intercepts, roots of a function using the TI Inspire. So from the home page, select a new document, say no to save, and go ahead and add a graphs page. And in the F box, type in whatever function you plan on using. And for this demo, I'm just going to use x squared minus x minus 6. And go ahead and graph it. And just a little side note, if you want to move something so it's out of your way, if you move your cursor on top until you get the little open hand, and then click and hold down the clicker button, until you get a closed hand, then you can move it wherever you like, and then just click again to let go. All right, so I want to calculate these roots. Now, yes, I know we can visually see what they are, but just humor me. So in the mute, go ahead and select menu and analyze graph. And when you go to analyze graph, you're going to see all these fun little options. Well, we are going to select zero, since that's what we're looking for. And you are going to get this um, vertical dashed line. So the first thing is, see how it says lower bound down here? It doesn't matter if you're to the left or to the right of the zero, but since this are, there are two zeros, you are going to go ahead and um, pick one to start with. And I'm going to start with the left one. And I'm going to move this vertical line anywhere to one side of the zero. I'm not going to put it directly on top of it. I can move it just this close. I could put it way over here. It doesn't matter. So put it somewhere and click. Then you'll see the bottom change to upper bound. You're going to move it to the other side and you'll see a shaded region start to form. And then all of a sudden a dot with the word zero and the coordinate points will pop up. So you're going to go ahead and click and there is your zero. If you cannot see it, just put your cursor on top for the open hand, click and hold until it closes, and then move so you can see it. And then you have to do the exact same thing to calculate the other one. So menu, analyze graph, zero, put the little vertical line somewhere to one side, click, Move to the other side till you see the word zero and click and there's your other zero. 